I just tested my urine here at home so I can check for protein and you can do the same. And this video is about how to use reagent strips or urinalysis strips or dipsticks, they're also called, to check your urine for kidney disease and what you can do about it and how to monitor your kidney disease also. Now, we do have another video about how to test your urine at home, which gives, us you, which gives you a broad overview about testing your urine using these type of dipsticks that you can purchase online uh, anywhere pretty much. Not too many stores have them, but plenty of places online. This video is about looking at the protein levels, reading it a little bit more clearly and what you can do about it. So I just tested my urine here. And with these dipsticks, you gotta take your urine. You can either um, try to catch it midstream, but that's not always easy and you can make a mess. The other option is to get some type of container. Now I have urine dipsticks, but you could simply use just a little plastic cup. You collect a little urine and then you just quickly dip in and out, you have the dipstick, and this is gonna change colors. And there's a guide here to match up against your colors. Now this has a lot of different markers on here. I'm only going to the protein one here. So I dipped my urine and when I checked it, I matched up the color so it wasn't the first one, it wasn't the second, third, it was the uh, fourth box here, which gives me a number of 100. And that means I had about 100 milligrams of protein in my urine. Give or take, this is a dipstick, so this isn't the end-all, be-all test. It is a good test to use at home, but you always want to corroborate and verify your results here with your medical doctor. So I checked my urine. I got about 100 on my uh, urinalysis on the dipstick here. Now, normal is about 40 to 150 milligrams. So I do excrete protein. I excrete a little bit more than the normal person. Um, most people shouldn't ha should have less than 40. You really shouldn't have any. But those amounts up to about 100, 100, 150 are considered somewhat normal, but you are leaking a little bit of protein if you're higher up now, higher on that range. I have a kidney transplant, so I know I leak protein. And by following a lower protein diet, I'm able to keep my protein levels in my urine down, and that's the protein excretion down. Now, I know that if I decide to go out today and eat a steak, eat pizza, or anything with a lot of protein, and even chicken or a lot of fish, and I dip my urine again, maybe about four or five hours, or tomorrow morning, it's gonna have a lot more protein in it, and I'll be actually over that protein range because I've done this before, and I've done this many times, so I know how my body and my kidney will respond. So if I do go and eat a lot of those foods tomorrow, I could be having up to 250 to 300 to even 1,000 milligrams of urine, and that's bad because anything outside the norm and even those higher levels is always creating a, a degree of kidney damage and inflammation. And so this is a really good test to help you stay on track with your diet because it just always reminds you of, oh, I'm doing some damage to my kidney. Let me uh, back off my diet, let me eat healthier, let me avoid those foods that I've been having lately. So that's how you wanna use these uh, protein strips. You could use them as a detection for kidney disease. If you think you might have it, you wanna check. You can use this as a way to monitor your kidney disease and through diet. But that's just the protein level on these strips. A um, lot of brands out there that you can buy. This is Rapid Response. A very popular one is uh, MeriCheck, okay? We have a few that we use here in the office. I have a bunch at home uh, just because I like always checking and reminding myself what to do. And uh, it, keeps me in, in, it keeps me on the diet that I'm supposed to for the most part. And when I get off track for too long, I know because I can see it. Um, I don't always need the urine strips. I know that if I get off my diet for a while, you can see a lot of bubbles in your urine or foamy urine. And that's another sign that you're have too much protein. So hopefully a few tips, things you can do, like you're in the, using those dipsticks, using those urinalysis reagent strips to monitor yourself and adjust your diet, the protein levels, uh, and salt accordingly. Um, but thanks for watching everybody. Something you can incorporate into your life starting as soon as you order these online. Have a good day, bye.